Good morning all. Asian equity markets traded higher as positive sentiment flooded the markets from last night's Chinese PMI data, whereas the US session remained indecisive as global stock rally had stalled amid thin volumes, weak US durable goods data, and ahead of upcoming risk events. We also had reports from the overnight session, the US and China are nearing a final trade agreement with most issues resolved, but we'll continue to negotiate on enforcement and implementation. Weakness came from the Japanese government bonds and the yen as trade hopes ensured a lack of safe haven demand. UK PMA reported yesterday we need a further extension of Article 50 to ensure we leave in a timely way with a deal. And we'll try to complete legislation by the 22nd of May. As it remains, PMA is in a sticking point uh, as MPs are unable to compromise on any deal put forward. She has offered to discuss the matter further with opposition leader uh, Corbyn to hopefully reach a solution that delivers on the referendum. If they are unable to achieve a single unified approach, they could form a set of agreements to put to the House of Commons, which would abide by Parliament's decision. The EU Council are preparing for a long Brexit extension, but with specific conditions. Both the Euro and Sterling rallied on the notion of an extension and the possibility of a cross-party solution to end the current deadlock. Commodities were mostly higher, in which WTI crude futures extended gains to its best levels in five months due to positive risk sentiment and ongoing supply side factors with the US taking action on Venezuela. Gold remained subdued as outflows from safe havens gained. The crypto market rally uh, continues with Bitcoin retesting recent highs. A number of major digital currencies had maintained their double digit percentage gain. We will be monitoring BTC's price action closely to see how it plays out in the near future for insight if the latest move were likely to carry on for the long term. I'll see you in the next Traders Report. Thank you for listening. Have a good trading day.